What I see young cooks do is I see them gravitate towards the shiny, funky little, and they're all trying to head that direction, but yet they forget the basic building blocks. If with your restaurant, I assume you guys have stages and, and, and yeah, we have trainings that come. Even through. though now they're not, there's no free stages no more. You got to pay no, everybody. Yeah, yeah. But so this whole stage thing is going out the window. If for, the for fact New, that I have New, to for New York now, yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's very strange. It's it's tough. It's it is, tough. and it doesn't allow us to. I think I know in San Francisco it, it was over a long time ago, and it eliminates the ability to be able to train and to build crews and build better, you know, build cooks the way the way it should be done because in, in the greater respect this is this is a hand to hand skill taught. I mean you can go to school, you can get the basic knowledge and you should get that information. Uh, but in the end you gotta put the hours in. You gotta you gotta stand on your feet, you gotta you gotta take so the abuse, you have to learn hand to hand. With these new kids, and I like to ask this of every chef that I, I talk with, mm -hmm. with the kids that are coming in and they're going to stage for you, they're going to spend time with you. What do you suggest to them for preparing themselves? I mean, whether they're in school or whether they're not in school, how do you get them, how, you know, if you want to see them successful with you, what are you, what are you looking for? What do you want out of them? I, I, I try not to take the stages, and I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Our restaurant is not really designed or our style. Mm -hmm. It's not the style that you're saying these new young folks that come out of school. Right. Like they're looking for that. They're right. looking for that artistic ability. They're right. looking for for that cuisine that, that you need to, to you everybody needs to have under their belt. Right. You know, it's something like if you don't go through that process of going to work for a place like like, you know, uh, any other top top restaurants right now, whether it be Noma or it be, uh, the, I don't know, any of the Per Se's or, or Danielle or, or Jean-George, yeah, yeah. you, you need to go through that process and you need to be abused a little bit and you right. need to see that artistic path right. and you need to follow for a little bit. Right. Because then once you come to us, like we're, we're more of a for-profit business, let's say. Sure. You know? Absolutely. This is... We, we have very artistic plates and what we do is very, very beautiful, mm -hmm. but it's it's a business. It's, like, it's, 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 it's not, a grinder, it's a turn it's burn. Exactly. It's you, not an you art studio. We, you take more than 30 seconds to plate a dish and right. you're gonna get yelled at. Right. You there's, know, no, there's no tweezers in your exactly. kitchen. Exactly, there's no tweezers in the kitchen except in the butcher room to take right. out <laughs> Pull a pin bone. bones, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like there is no tweezers right. and it, if, it's it's a very different kind of kitchen. Yeah. So I, I, I think everybody and I've had interviews with people, you know, yeah. people that come out of CIA are, yeah. I think are a perfect example and I hate to like pinpoint that but yeah, it's, those all, have it's been all culinary mine. schools. It's all right. you know, and that's that's that side of the business aspect of culinary schools is that they put they put an impression in the kid's mind, you know, the, it, I mean, when I went to culinary school in the in the in the in the eighties, it, it was one of those things where it cost as much to go to Harvard Law School is it did go to culinary school and all that's debt you know and all these kids that are out there doing the same thing you know they're in essence they're being advertised to saying you know you can be you know yeah. Gordon Ramsay or you can be yeah. you know uh, 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 Thomas Keller come to school and learn a craft and you know and the reality is is that you leave school with sixty seventy thousand dollars in debt after two yeah. and a half years you're gonna get paid and, ten bucks an hour you're man. gonna get paid you're gonna, get paid, you're gonna get paid wage and you're gonna stand on your feet for 14 15 hours a day for the next 10 years yeah. until maybe you're fortunate enough to get a break and, and to be put into a position where you can actually start to earn your way up and then you'll get 14 dollars an hour yeah it's not <laughs> and then 14 hours will last for another 10 years yeah. until you're finally into a position that maybe you know somebody's intelligent enough to put a little bit of money behind you and maybe you'll get that shot you get that shot at the brass ring to actually have the opportunity to create ownership I mean that's I, you know again I think and even ownership like once you go forward it's it's you can have ownership and you still won't make any money no like <laughs> no I, and I'm, I'm a prime example okay. I mean how many restaurants have I owned now and how much debt do I still live in you know it's it's it, you know again it's, it's a I, glorified decision really like it, it's yeah. I don't, I, don't need to own. I don't need to own again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. You know, that responsibility, it's... You know, yeah, people always say, well, do you have children? And I hear you always refer to your kids. I'm like, yeah, I have about 70 or 80. Yeah. You know, and there are all these kids that I've, I've mentored and that I've worked with and that I've, I've 
I've shown a level of leadership and direction to, and you know, and I'm, I, I get to be a proud papa now because you know one of my kids is the CDC at, at, at Co, and I've got another kid who's a rising star chef in San Francisco, and you know another another one of my dishwashers, one of my dishwashers just accepted their first executive chef position. Wow. You know, I mean, like that's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah! That's pretty awesome. I have no yeah. idea what their food's like, but yeah. okay. <laughs> Listen, but that's, but that's a testament, not, yeah. not not to culinary school, but that's a testament to the amount of work that you have to put in yeah. to, to, to get somewhere. And this is one of the only fields that you can really like start as a dishwasher yeah. and you can move up. Yeah. And I, it's most of it, my- It's, it's like, all about the hard work though. Yeah. The greatest cooks that I have started as dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Like I almost mm -hmm. want to start everybody that I hire as a yeah. dishwasher. Yeah. And it, it becomes such a, the, the, the restaurant business is on your feet 14 hours a day plus, you know, five, six days a week. Like, yeah. it, it takes a lot of stamina. If you can make it in the dish pit, yeah. then maybe you can move on.